You're not alone. If you need someone to talk to today, please contact Crisis Services Canada by either calling them at 1-833-456-4566 all hours of the day, or you can text them at 45645 at 4 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern Time. Remember, you're not alone and Crisis Services Canada is here to help. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Coffee with Graham on ASTV Productions. I'm your host, Graham Forsyth. Thank you to everyone that's taken the time out of their Tuesday morning and watching Coffee with Graham here on ASTV Productions. Of course, we are live on today's episode. We're live on our Facebook right now at ASTV Productions, on our website at ASTVProductions.com, as well as on our Twitter at Amateur Sports TV, wherever you guys are watching on this Tuesday morning or when you watch this episode. I want to thank you for taking the time out of your Tuesday morning for doing that. This edition of Coffee with Graham is brought to you by Evolve Green, AETI, Toby Hockey, Pilot Mound Hockey Academy, and Case Financial Group. In today's edition of the show, we were going to have two guests in today's episode originally, but due to some technical difficulties, as in I don't have my editing software license renewed at this point, so I wasn't able to uh, put the pre-recorded interview that I did last night that I wanted to use in today's episode. We were also going to do highlights. That was with Pemina Valley Hawks head coach Dana Bell. Don't worry, we're going to find a way to get that episode up sometime this week on Thursday. And for some reason, we're back now, uh, my connection went out, my Wi-Fi just went out, but it's back on again. Uh, like I was saying before I cut out, we got one guest in today's edition of Coffee with Graham. It's the coach of the Assiniboine Community College Cougars, uh, their female hockey team. It's Tony Bertone. Tony has joined me on the show before he joins me again today. We'll be covering Assiniboine Community College for this 2021-2022 season. So what better way to start off our coverage with them than talking to the man himself, the head coach, Tony. And yeah, we're going to be talking about this year's team, uh, how the open tryout went for the team, uh, how the team has looked so far, the players that have looked good so far, the schedule that Tony has these girls running on, uh, you know, how the girl, girls are doing in school so far, because that's important as well. And the discussion about the next chapter 
for this program and the upcoming schedule as well. That's all coming up on this edition of Coffee with Graham with the Cinnaboyne Community College Cougars female hockey head coach Tony Bertone here on Coffee with Graham on ASTV Productions. Joining me now is Tony Bertone, head coach of the Assiniboine Community College Cougars women's college hockey team. Just going to talk to Tony today about all the stuff I mentioned in the intro. But Tony, uh, how have things been since the last time that we've connected? Uh, been a while, but how have you been doing? Oh, been good. Been really good. Uh, we're uh, off and running. Uh, we're... Uh... Uh, practicing uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays and dry land on Wednesdays. So uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're getting in the groove and uh, enjoying our time back in the rink and on the ice. Just how, how crazy is it to see just ha having players back on the ice after everything we've been going through in the, this past two years of, you know, it being question marks of if we're going to see a hockey season at points and it being canceled last season due to COVID-19 that uh that you know feeling coming true of you know the season getting canceled due to the pandemic but to to see you know the, the girls back on the ice back in the swing of things doing the the normal things the the routines like usual how you know how exciting is that just to to see it so far this season Oh, it's, it's, it's great, uh, Grandma. You know, the smiles on their faces, uh, you know, we've had uh, a couple of skates already and, uh, and, uh, you know, just to see them uh, enjoying themselves out on the, on the ice. And it's a, it's a stress relief for them. You know, they get to do something that they, they love to do. And uh, they are, you know, they're coming to our college to, to get a diploma and, uh, and uh, play hockey, but schooling is first. And, uh, like I say, uh, they enjoy the hockey and uh, enjoying being together as a group. Uh, uh, I can see already uh, we've uh, uh, done some uh, team bonding uh, stuff, and uh, you know they uh, they enjoy being around uh, each other, and uh, and that's a, off to a great start. Uh, so, looking forward to uh, you know doing our uh, two times a week uh, practices in dry land, and then. Uh, I got a, an exhibition game uh, just uh, lined up with some alumni to come uh, and uh, play us uh, just for a fun uh, evening uh, on the 24th. And uh, and then uh, we've uh, got some exhibition games in, uh, with uh, uh, the MWJHL and, uh, and Baltimore Hall also. So. Yeah, it'll be great to have these girls facing that competition early on, of course, with, uh, you know, the, the time off. It's been so long since players in uh, in Canada have been able to have this type of compete playing in game situations, right? So it's great that you guys have some exhibition games lined up against teams from the MJ, uh, what the, the Manitoba. Manitoba senior, women's. Uh, Manitoba women's. Yeah, that league. Um, just speaking about the open tryout, though, that you guys had. Uh, of course, you said that yes. you guys hold an open tryout to, to, you know, fill out the team, solidify the roster. How did the open tryout go for you guys this year? It was good. Uh, we added uh, Emma Gamanchi from uh, Nipawa to uh, our program. Uh, she came out and uh, skated uh, twice with us uh, in our open tryouts, and uh, the coaching staff liked what we saw in Emma. And uh, you know, uh, her uh, her hockey ability is uh, is there that uh, we were uh, were able to uh, gonna work with her and uh, you know and uh, bring her to the level of college hockey. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, she's going to be uh, a big part of our program and uh, help us out. Uh, and uh, it filled our uh, filled our roster. We uh, we've got uh, three lines, uh, six D, and uh, two goalies. So uh, it uh, you know it was it's good. Uh, looking forward to uh, getting rolling with this group. 
some returning players on this year's team, some new players. Uh, going to be exciting to see what this team is going to be able to do, of course, with just what the program has been able to do the last two seasons. Uh, you guys have been able to play a full season. But just speak about how the team has looked so far. Of course, you guys have two practices a week, a dryland session in there as well. Just speak about what the uh, the talent level has been like from this group truly seeing it in person this season. Well, we're uh, we're going to start uh, rolling our systems out here tonight uh, with this group, and uh, we've uh, Terry Sinkbell, myself, and uh, the other coaching staff, we've put together uh, three balanced lines, and uh, we feel we've got uh, solid six uh, D, and uh, the goaltending is uh, exceptional uh, with uh, Geneva Penner and uh, Megan Bestworth Withrick. Uh, yeah, we're uh, we're 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 excited to uh, get rolling and uh, and and see what uh, these girls can uh, can do. And uh, like I say, always to the new group of uh, of uh, players coming in is you know write your chapter and see what uh, we're able to do and uh, and leave your mark at the college here. Uh, you know, you're you're only here for a short time or. Some girls are here for one year and some are here for two. You know, some come back for a third, but uh, it's uh, it's getting, uh, you know, uh, it's getting that time here uh, where we're going to start up and uh, and uh, start learning systems and uh, and uh, seeing how they adapt to them. So looking forward to it. Well, we'll talk more about the program coming up here on the show. We're going to take a commercial break here on this edition of Coffee with Graham. I've been joined by Tony Bertone, head coach of the Assiniboine Community College Cougars women's college hockey team. We're going to be back in just a moment with Tony. You're watching Coffee with Graham here on ASTV Production. Stick with us after this commercial break. Why go solar? Solar is better than ever. Our revolutionary design and inverter equipment with the latest in solar panel technology for the ultimate in-home and business security. That's right, I said security. Grid security and security of your home are linked. Fortify your future today with a battery backup system. No maintenance, quiet running. Did you know in Manitoba, grid-connected, off-grid, and battery backup systems are 100% right off in the year you purchase for any company or farm? Do you want to back up your internet, keep your tills running, and the lights on? We can install a system that is right for you, with battery backup fully capable of taking on all those essential loads and keeping you running. When you call our experts at Evolve Green, ask about getting your free energy audit today. Call or email today to find out what system works best for you. 1-866-5-EVOLVE or support at evolvegreen.ca. Also, be sure to check out our website at www.evolvegreen.ca. Welcome back to this edition of Coffee with Graham on ASTV Productions. I'm joined on today's edition of the show by Assiniboine Community College Cougars women's college hockey head coach Tony Bertone. And Tony joins me on today's episode just to talk about how this year's uh, Cougars team has uh, looked so far. You know, the, the talent. Uh, how the open tryout went and just how nice it is to be back in the rink seeing some hockey being played uh, of course this episode we're live on our facebook our website and our twitter as well if you guys uh, enjoy coffee with graham be sure to share this episode give it a like uh get the name out there spread awareness we want to get our numbers up right if you guys enjoy uh feel free to do that but tony uh diving into you know more of this team this season talking about the the leadership group this season the, the players that you guys have chosen as uh, the captain and assistants of the team this year Yeah, we've uh, got uh, our leadership group uh, picked and uh, and uh, and uh, put out on social media there. 
and uh, we've got uh, returning. Uh, the only uh, vet that we have uh, returning uh, is uh, Simone uh, Turner Comer. She's going to be the captain this year. Uh, she's a great leader. Been with the program who, uh, until all our ability for CHA is uh, is. Uh, she enjoys the game and enjoys uh, her uh, her hockey. Loves her hockey, and uh, you know she's uh, she's uh, she helps out with uh, you know coaching other teams, other uh, uh, players. So uh, yeah, she and then uh, we have uh, Cora Fajala. She uh, comes to us from uh, Pemba Valley Hawks. Uh, she's in her second year. Uh, already, you know, it's too bad uh, we never uh, got to see in uh, core in action last year. But uh, she's going to be a big part of our uh, our program moving forward here this year. Uh, we're looking to her uh, to be a great leader. She's a board leader. She was a captain there in Pamela Valley, and uh, she's going to bring uh, a, a lot of leadership to uh, to the group. And uh, and then we got uh, Aiden Rock out of uh, Morrow Hall. Uh, she's in her second year. And uh, she's a spark plug, and uh, the girls love around uh, uh, her. She makes the, you know everybody uh, uh, feel welcome and uh, and have fun. And she's always uh, cracking the jokes. Uh, the girls love uh, the girls just love her, and uh, and then um, and um, uh, Bartow out of. Uh, she come to us from uh, Yellowhead, uh, defenseman. Again, uh, a very caring person, uh, you know, uh, and she's going to be great uh, in her uh, leadership role, and uh, she's going to be a big part of the defense. As uh, really as deep as of uh, forward. To, uh, leadership and the girls prepared for uh, our games uh, coming forth. Just uh, speaking about you know the the players to to watch on this season's team. Um, you know, of course, a lot of talent on this year's team. Uh, it's a younger team, of course, with just uh, you know the the new players you guys have brought in of course only one bet on this team like you guys like you said but just speak about uh the, the players that you're looking to you know have a big impact out there for this Assembly one community college cougars team in this 2021 2022 season well like i say uh you know uh graham uh, we're, we're a team of uh of uh of all ways of Simone, uh, she, you know, she's been here for a few years. She knows our sons, you know, uh, Simone's, uh, going to be, uh, you know, our, uh, our leadership group here and, uh, and showing the girls the right way and how, how to play, uh, in, in the college life here. And, uh, and, uh, you know, and like I say, we've got three balanced lines. Our D is solid. Our goal tending, uh, is, uh, solid. And I'm just uh, we're we're ready to get started and uh, and to see what girls uh, and 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 show their uh, we brought them in for a reason. Each one we uh, we recruited and. Uh, And we just lost Tony. Uh, seems like there is a lot of lag on his side of things. Uh, having trouble hearing him. He's not able to hear his full answer. That's no good. I want you guys to be able to hear that. So what we're going to do is we're going to reschedule with Tony. Uh, going to get him on for a pre-recorded interview sometime in the next two days and use that for thursday's edition of the show my apologies to everyone uh for the technical difficulties today started off with a bang with the intro right when i cut out midway but uh it's it's just the way it happens sometimes especially in the 
technology age, right? With how uh, how prevalent, how uh, prominent technology is nowadays, and that's the way we connect, right? Is through Wi-Fi and connections. So if that's not working, uh, not not gonna have much success with with that. But yeah, we're going to send it to one last commercial break here in today's edition of Coffee with Graham. I'll be back to let you guys know about the upcoming schedule of guests here on Coffee with Graham coming up on Thursday's edition of the show. Stick with me after this final commercial break here on ASTV Productions. Welcome back to Coffee with Graham here on ASTV Productions. My guest in today's episode was Tony Bertone, head coach of the Assiniboine Community College Cougars women's hockey team for this 2021-2022 season. Unfortunately, due to connection difficulties, some technical difficulties, I was unable to hear Tony give uh, a majority of his answer when he was speaking. I'm sure that All you guys could uh, barely hear what he was saying as well due to those connection difficulties. I'm not sure, but for me, it was uh, was tough, uh, you know, not being able to hear uh, most of what he was saying because uh, that that makes it harder for follow up questions and stuff like that. Right. So like I said, before we went to break, we're going to get that. Well, I didn't say we're going to get it all sorted out, but we are going to get it all sorted out, the technical difficulties and uh, stuff like that. And we'll have Tony on Thursday's edition of Coffee with Graham. And that's what I want to talk about is the upcoming edition of Coffee with Graham, as well as tomorrow's edition of Rise and Shine Manitoba, which is the other show I host here on the network. Well, two of three shows I host, well, the other show besides coffee with Graham out of the three shows that I host here on the network rise and shine Manitoba. And the third one being uh, the prospect show. And of course, coffee with Graham being the one that I'm doing right now, but for Thursday's edition of coffee with Graham, we're going to have Tony Burton on the show. We're going to have Dana Bell head coach of the Pemina Valley Hawks on that edition of coffee with Graham as well. Also going to be talking some MMJHL hockey with goaltender for the Transcona Railer Express, Dylan Arnold, as well as talking to head coach of the St. Patel Junior Vicks once again in Jeff Mitchell. That episode is coming out on Thursday, of course, at 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time. You can catch that one on our Facebook or on our website, our Facebook being ASTV Productions and website being ASTVProductions.com. And yeah, should be a fun episode of Coffee with Graham, having that many guests on the show. It's been a while since we've had that many guests on uh, one episode, so I'm excited. But uh, going into Rise and Shine Manitoba now, we also got a jam-packed lineup for you guys tomorrow. Of course, Harry Siemens. If you are uh, a viewer of Rise and Shine Manitoba, you know that Harry Siemens, the man on the farm report, the farm journalist, uh, you know, the, the guy that does it all in agriculture, he joins me every uh, week on the show on Rise and Shine to talk about agriculture on the farm report. He'll be joining tomorrow's show as well uh as always as he joins rise and shine manitoba every week but he'll be joining the show first up on the farm report tomorrow at 10 a.m 
And then we'll have Lorena Mitchell, uh, CEO and president, founder of Evolve Green. She'll be joining the show on the weekly solar report. We're upgrading the segment as well. Going to add some new stuff in there. So very excited to unveil that for you guys and reveal that. And then we're going to be joined by Gordy Tummelson. Well, I'm going to be joined by Gordy Tummelson, goalie coach and ex- and marketing director of Pilot Mount Hockey Academy is going to talk to me about how this uh, past weekend of games went for the academy as well as the upcoming weekend of games for the academy this weekend. And yeah, going to also be joined by Executive Director of Basketball Manitoba, uh, Adam Wedlake. We're going to get some updates on what's been happening with basketball here in Manitoba. And then we'll finish off tomorrow's edition of rise and shine manitoba like we've been doing for the uh for as long as i can remember now uh we're going to be finishing it off with a segment called graham's opinion and a segment where i give my opinion on what's going on in the sports world going to be talking about cfl uh power rankings tomorrow giving my power rankings for this uh going into this week 10 i believe we're on now in the cfl uh, just got to check that. Um, but yeah, going to be giving CFL power rankings as well as my CFL predictions for this upcoming week. Um, it is week 10. So the game, first game of the week is actually tomorrow. Um, the Ottawa Red Blacks versus the Toronto Argonauts game is in Toronto at BMO Field. So yeah, going to give my week 10 uh, or week nine CFL power rankings, my rankings heading into which are my rankings heading into week 10, as well as my week 10 CFL predictions and as well going to be reacting to some stuff from around the hockey world and oh, or from the sports world. And speaking of hockey, that uh, brings up something that I remember that I'm going to be doing is giving my uh, top 10 player rankings for the top 10 centers, top 10 left wingers, and top 10 right wingers in the NHL. That's coming up tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time on Rise and Shine Manitoba, Manitoba show here on ASTV Productions. Of course, we'll be live for that episode, so you guys can check it out on our Facebook at ASTV Productions, on our website, astvproductions.com, as well as on our Twitter at Amateur Sports TV. But until Thursday, folks, for all you viewers that are going to be tuning into Coffee with Graham then, uh, until Wednesday, until tomorrow morning for all you guys that are going to tune in to Rise and Shine Manitoba, the newest edition of that show. I've been your host of Coffee with Graham, Graham Forsyth, signing off now until I see you guys either on uh, Wednesday for this show on Thursday. Stay safe out there. Have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. And until next time, folks, I'll see you then. Peace out. See everyone.